Okay, welcome back to ReZero Anime Review Episode 32. This will be the 44th episode of the anime, which is the Parafrost of Enor Force. Yep, picking up where last week's episode left off. Now, the first portion of this episode is all set inside the memory world. The whole rest of it is set in outside. First off, we have, well, the young Amelia confronted by Pandora. And she really wants her to open this door. Like, can I have the key, please? And she's like, no, I'm not giving you the key. I don't know what you're talking about. And then she's like, and then she's like, okay. And then he'll, like, like she'll come to the floor looking for the key. Like, fine, fine. I'll open it myself. But he walks to the door. And then she's like, I can't. She's like, why? Because a man promised my mother. I was like, okay. And like, oh, why did you make the promise? Like, no, I can't. Or he's like, okay, fine. And then not long after that, her adopted mother, basically, Fedora shows up to take out Pandora. Dressed to kill all the times. And, and the thing is, she's actually very happy with Millie for keeping her promise, which kudos to the fact that the fact they wrote that way for her. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then pretty much, like, right after that, like, she tries many times to try to kill Pandora, unsuccessfully, and then Ghost shows up. Yes. The Bishop of Slaw shows up. They try to kill Pandora, but he accidentally kills Fora, a woman who he apparently was in love with. Yes, they never really explained this much. And after he accidentally stabbed her, of course, he was, his eyes were covered in blood. He couldn't really see very clearly. Because they thought he was saying Pandora. Nope, he hit basically the someone he cared about. And then Amelia sees that her mother has died right in front of her. And yeah, she died. And she's like very happy that she got a chance to know her. She also mentioned the fact that her she has the face of, of basically her sister. mentioned, oh yeah, she has a cute, her cute face from her sister-in-law. Yeah, it's kind of hints at that she's at her actual mother. It's not thoroughly clear here. Then of course, right after she died, of course they meet each other. They they love each other, which that's quite nice. And then she dies, and then Milia takes off the flower hairpin she basically was wearing in this flashback, and then she wears the, the hairpin she wears in present day, and then she proceeds multiple times to try to kill Pandora, and I mean multiple times, try to smush her with ice, even like freezing her does nothing. And then she ends up actually freezing the whole forest along with herself. And then she gets frozen solid. And she remains like this for a hundred years. I'm not kidding about that. Seriously, she does. Now, according to Ekina, e e e Pandora is the witch of vanity. I'm like, okay, they never really showed her before, but that's interesting. So, I'm surprised that she doesn't say this whole time that about Subaru meeting with her and well not only that but also mentioning hey I know what the so that so she's probably thinking so that's what the bishops are interesting because when she was first introduced here when when Subaru first mentioned the bishops back I think it was like when, when they when they first did the trial when she did the, when did the first tea party she's like what are the bishops and he the, apparently she didn't know what they were and after seeing Goosh and of course the others agreed I'm sure she's like, really? You representing me? Seriously? That's what she probably was thinking. And it's concluded that she passed the first trial. First of three. It's like, huh? Yep, three trials. Though it's not really explored in the book. Well, not at this point anyways. And then she kind of wakes up and she's done to the tomb. Looks at the wall. Talk, thinks about Puck. And that's it for her. And then the rest of the episode focuses on Subaru. Where... Basically, she, they they confirm that yeah, we need to basically bring down the barrier, make the whole world like sanctuary, and of course, well, Ram is asked to take Shimmy to a safe location, and of course, it's pointed by Rem that we should not have two overbearing guys basically with her, and <laughs> that was so hilarious. Now Garfield thinks it's like him; he's like, well, obvious, but Otto is like, it's like so hilarious. And then they start walking afterwards, like, and of course Garfield's like, where the heck are we going? And he's like, we're going to see uh, Margrave Mathers. We're going to see Roswell. And then they walk in, and 
basically the lineup is you have Subaru, you have Otto in the middle, and we have Garfield on the right. And Roswell is not wearing the bandages anymore. Nope, he's not wearing bandages or his shorts he's wearing. He's pretty much back to wearing his normal clothes, including the, the, the clown makeup, which he has for his makeup, basically. First, sort of like war paint as we're going to battle. And then, after chatting for a while, and then, then basically, Otto does what he does in the book. He introduces himself to, the, to Roswell. It's like, looking forward to working with you. So, an army choose, like, okay, Otto, I remember that. And he asks, like, why are you here? And then Subaru says, I advise, of course, basically, Otto is like, your your gear, your your gate just board is falling apart. Your game plan is falling apart. So, Otto is basically the. The, the invading chess piece, which I'm like, that's interesting. And then, the reason why he's here, because he's here to advise Roswell for his surrender. Hmm, interesting. If you're curious to what portions of the book this is from, this apparently is from, from Chapter 2 again, third episode it is. My guess is it's probably from the rest of Chapter 2, along with Chapters 4 and 5. Hmm, interesting. Yes. So maybe they finally finished up the Chapter 2. It's possible, say at least. But I think there's about two more chapters left, so presumably we probably have about one or two episodes left to be adapted for book 14 for the series. Mm-hmm. Yep. Excuse me. And if you're curious to how many episodes are left this season, there are six left. Yep, there are six. And this is technically the third episode adapted from book 14. Yes, third episode. So presumably... Either that it'll wrap up by next week, or two weeks from now, when this arc will finally finish. Well, when the adaptation of this book finish, because I'm kind of hoping to read book four, book 15 before it starts happening for the end. Because that's another book of this arc I haven't read yet, because there's no English translation yet. I'm just eagerly waiting the the translation to release here. In Japan, it was released several years ago, but here, it's, apparently it was supposed to come out... Uh, the original release they saw for was about two weeks from now, but they postponed it by a week. I'm not really sure why the company did that for, but they did. But when it comes out, we'll probably read it. I bring the books online. So I don't have to buy every single book. This is one book series. I don't have any desire to buy it, but I still want to read it because I love ReZero. Mm -hmm. Yep, so yeah, that's it for of you. I have one more reading we to do, and that's a view for... $7.00. Yep, see you in the next video. Bye.